there's a lot of benefit <laughs> there too. So when people, you know, City Hall operates as a sort of headquarters, if you will, mm -hmm. for the whole day. We actually are there at seven in the morning setting up and we, um, you know, have things ready. People come in and check in around uh, 8.30, 9 o'clock for opening ceremonies. And if they're volunteering, they get their free coffee and breakfast munchie, mm -hmm. their free Newton Serves t-shirt, you know, whatever we have from our wonderful sponsors and underwriters for this event. So mm -hmm. it's exciting. Well, good, good. So give me an idea of what the day is actually like. On it's, Thank uh, you. That's helpful for people to visualize. Yeah, how, how, does, how is the day right. actually structured? So... Speaking from the City Hall perspective, we're structured all day and they're at the headquarters running it from that morning opening registration, um, saying, sending people out to their projects, people coming in at noon or 12.30 to register for afternoon projects, people mm -hmm. returning at 3.30 for closing ceremonies and typically ice cream Sundays for everybody who comes back. The kids um, love that So too. they do. And uh, although I've noticed a few adults go back for seconds oh, as well. Yeah few adults are there. <laughs> and then obviously <laughs> for the project sites themselves, not everyone comes to City Hall for those things. Uh, right. Typically you'll see at a school project, you know, there's always a project leader on hand to run the project at each location. Mm -hmm. And um, if it's a, a morning project, then they're there in the morning and the volunteers come and join them and then leave. All, you know, if it's an afternoon project, the same. And I think what the nice part is, is um, for some of the all-day projects, then right. people are coming in and maybe they can't stay all day, they leave. But, you know, people are really pitching in and making the, the things happen. And some of the all-day sites are offering lunch, others can't mm -hmm. because of the logistics of their site. It might be an outdoor right. park or something. Are there different teams? You mentioned teams a minute ago. You have different teams, team leaders. There are different ways to, there are different ways to get involved. There How's are, the structure of that? Right. There are different ways to get involved. Um, I do hear from people that want to run a team. It may be from a religious institution, a, a temple mm -hmm. or a church. Uh, certainly businesses contact me, Boston College, Mount Ida, they all bring teams and they mm -hmm. hook up, you know, network with me to decide what project is the best match for them and also so I'll know how many volunteers are going to a project. That's really helpful to know. So for individuals and families listening to this broadcast, um, it's very helpful that people pre-register and the w easy way of doing that is going right online to the city's website, mm -hmm. you know, then we can post the city's website later, but new, um, and then slash Newton Serves. And right on uh, the home page for Newton Serves is the 2010 project list. Mm -hmm. And they scroll down, see what the 55 projects are, and a description of them. What age appropriateness are they for? Are they for age eight and up, mm -hmm. or high school and up, whatever? But you have 55 different <laughs> projects organized across the city. So it's newtonma.gov. Slash Newton serves. NewtonMA.gov slash Newton serves. And right. you can actually, I, I have seen the website, you can yeah. actually register right on the website That's right. for what the project that you'd like to have. Yeah, you just decide, oh, I want to go to this park right mm -hmm. here, and I click register, and you fill in your information, and then we sign you up for that particular one. You know, one of the things I thought was so much fun last year and in previous years as well was everybody shows up uh, either at City Hall or at the, you know, at one time or another, you can right. wind up at City Hall. Right. Uh, sometime throughout the day, whether it's multiple times or once, or right. you're going to show up at City Hall at right. some point, and you're going to wind up. Are you doing the T-shirts again before I say this? Yes. You are. Good. Yes. Because it, just, it was just so terrific to see everybody in either the team leader t-shirts or the participant t-shirts or a combination of both and right. families and businesses and educational institutions and, and it just seems like the entire city comes together. It feels uh, that way. It gives me goosebumps. It you know, really, it's yeah. like a really triple win situation. Now, how right? many people do you have on your staff to, to put this together? I, um, or are I actually, you your staff? I am my staff, yeah. <laughs> and I do it in conjunction with other aspects of my job. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's it's a challenge, but um, everybody's very helpful and supportive. And I have a planning committee, a volunteer planning committee. Mm -hmm. Janet Sturman, who was on your segment before, uh -huh. is on my planning committee. Sure. And um, my co-chairs are just terrific. I mean, these people do lots of work. From We put out uh, a lot of signage. We make uh, Newton Serves project signs that go hang mm -hmm. in front of the projects for like a week right. and a half in advance so people going by can 
can see and kind of make a mental note, oh, there's going to be a project mm -hmm. here, right, it's Newton Serves time All again, right. you know, and that's helpful. And can the business community get involved in some way or another? Oh, they do. They do in two different ways. We have a, a long list of um, contributors. This is not paid for by the city budget at all. Uh -huh. I totally do. We do the fun. I do the fundraising for this. Mm -hmm. Raise over twenty thousand dollars each year to make this event happen. Great. And I thank all of my contributors very, very much. We certainly have underwriters that are a thousand dollars and up that help mm -hmm. with some of the larger pieces of it. That's why we're able to um, um, give T-shirts to the first thousand volunteers, and that's mm -hmm. exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just uh, you know, as we, as we said, a, a nice win-win situation. You know. Great. Well, this is exciting. Congratulations on ten years. Thank you. Uh, putting together and. Uh, and, and helping others serve Newton with Newton Serves. And it's a thanks to all the volunteers that turn out and make it happen. That's, yeah. that's Well, that's, that's terrific. Great. Beverly Drost. So to participate or be an underwriter of Newton Serves, you can go to the city's website. There's a page just exclusively reserved for Newton Serves at www.newtonma.gov slash Newton Serves. That's newtonma.gov dot gov slash newton serves once again thanks very much to beverly droves of newton serves and to all of you for participating now on our other topic if you still have some water damage or questions about the storm the water flooding for more information on ways to get help in your particular situation please visit the city's website at newtonma.gov right on the home page there's information right there one click away we will also, by the way, put a link to that information on our website. You can visit this show's website at newtonnewsmakers.org. This program will be repeated throughout the month right here on New TV. It's also online in its entirety, 24-7, newtonnewsmakers.org. Once again, thanks for watching. I'm Charlie Shapiro. Happy spring, and we'll see you again next month for another edition of Newton Newsmakers. Newton Newsmakers is made possible through the generous support of First Commons Bank, Beacon Street in Newton Center, representing the future of banking with an inviting environment, the latest banking technologies, and a personal touch to make banking convenient, simple, and sensible. Also at firstcommonsbank.com.